Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to a, another drinks review. So today we're viewing Rockstar's new, and this is a Super Sours one, but this is going to be on the 25% more taste and more caffeine version of the Bubble Burst. Now before we get into that, there is the original Super Sours Bubble Burst, uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, Bubble Burst, and they have reinvented it with these 25% more taste, more caffeine variants. There is also a couple other, these 25% more taste variants. So I'll put the other 25% ones in the description below as well for you to watch. So just a quick comparison before we start reviewing the drink. So like I said, this is the original one, still still 99p, good old Rockstar. And the main difference is that the 25% more taste is obviously, I guess, based on opinion and the more caffeine is, well, it's just more caffeine, doesn't really make much of a difference. But just as, just as a comparison, this was one of the, really really sugary drinks originally this one used to contain 13.8 grams of sugar per 100 ml and this used to contain 69 grams of sugar in that can so i've taken a lot of that sugar out but that was just a quick comparison to what the old drink is and if you want i'll put the video to the original bubble burst as well in the description as well so anyways i got this particular drink out of a random corner shop as uh, actually and like i said it cost me 99p good old rockstar for keeping their prices 99p for many many years so I give you guys a 4360 of the can. So we have a fairly similar design design to what the original can was, albeit the you know the Rockstar star is definitely a lot bigger and um, a lot kind of more deeper and brighter in colour. Again, just put the two to two together. It's whether this has just been sitting on my shelf for a long time, it's faded, but yeah, you can see this one's just a, just more bigger and just brighter overall. Like I said, we have the 25% kind of more caffeine taste at the top and the big 500, is it 500? Sorry, 200 milligrams of caffeine in there. It's like an upside down five from there, doesn't it? <laughs> and again, we have the bubble burst on the bottom. And we have the stuff going up the side where it says vitamins, ginseng, guana, caffeine, and taurine. And then we have the ingredients and stuff on the back, which again, we'll get to in a second as well. On the bottom, we have nothing. And on the top, everything's all standard and silver, apart from the pool ring, which is in a nice shiny black. Would it be nice if they kept the top, top black? Because having the top black definitely definitely finishes off the can much better especially when you've got the 99p black ring around the top so looking at the back of the can so how much sugar have they halved it by well they've literally more than halved it so it now contains 4.5 grams of sugar per 100 ml and the total can contains now only 23 grams because of course rockstar reduces sugar in all of their drinks but kept the price the same uh, we have niacin, vitamin B6, B12, but no panophenic acid, interestingly. Again, they've taken that out of the uh, of the original. Uh, carbonated mix to flavour, yep. So caffeine content, like I said, is 25% more. So that equates to 40 milligrams of caffeine per 100 mil. And like it says on the front, total total uh, caffeine content is 200 milligrams. Whether that extra, extra, uh, extra little bit of caffeine is going to be the difference between you winning the Olympics or not, it's not really, guys. There's way more caffeine in coffee, so the 25% more caffeine is just, I guess, an appetizing uh, feature. But the 25% more taste, well, we'll see how we go with that. We've got less sugar, and it says it's got more taste. So we'll see how we go with that one. So anyways, it's nice and cold. I have got a cup. Let's get straight into it. Hopefully it won't explode over me. So I'm guessing the color is gonna be... Oh, I don't know, I, I mean, Bubble, you think it's gonna be like pink or something, but I'm really not sure what to guess on color here. Um, but we'll find out. As I said, hopefully it just doesn't explode over me. We there we go. Okay, I kind of guessed it would be red or something along those lines. It's kind of just in your head. You see the color of the can. You think it's gonna be the same color. Don't go over. Whoa, careful. So quite a lot of fizz, quite a lot of fizz on the top there to be honest with you, but it seems to go fairly quick. Quite a lot of bubbles on the side as well. So yeah, the colour is indeed just a, just a, uh, kind of, it, it looks, the camera looks red, but it's it's more of a light red slash almost really, really light pink as well um, in real life. On the camera it does look red, that's weird. Anyway, it is see-through and is non-cloudy at all. So I couldn't smell anything while pouring now. So let's give it a closer smell now. Hmm. Yeah, smells of that bubblegum fizzy drink smell, which I've smelt many times before. 
Mm. Okay. Yeah, it just smells of just generic kind of bubble burst, fizzy pop, really. But um, nevertheless, guys, let's taste some. Hmm, that's actually quite nice. That's actually quite nice. So, again, it's been years since I drank an original Bubble Burst because of how sugary they were, and they don't, they don't even do them anymore. But I think, as far as I'm concerned, they were like kind of really, you know, sugary, obviously, having that much sugar in them. But drinking this, it's actually quite nice. So, straight away, though, you would not think this is an energy drink or you would not think it's a rock star drink. For the most part, it's literally just a, I guess, a fizzy Bubble Burst drink that has caffeine in it, you would honestly not think this is an energy drink or a rock star. So even though it's got half sugar, it's just about perfect for the sweetness. It's not over the top by any means, but it's not undersweetened. It hasn't got, as some people say, it hasn't got that kind of undersweetened taste. It hasn't got that kind of weird undersweet chemical taste, some people say, but it really isn't. I think getting the sugar right in the middle on this drink is absolutely spot on. The sweetness is why, and it's not syrupy, because obviously it's the English drink. English drinks tend to be more sugary than syrupy, like the American drinks. But yeah, so the sweetness is spot on there, right in the middle. And again, because it's only got 23 grams of sugar per can, it means you can actually drink it because it hasn't got that much sugar in it. Mm, yeah, drinking it. Yeah, sweetness is spot on. So the flavour. The flavour is actually pretty good. It's not, again, it's not a really strong flavour. I'd say it's just below medium for flavour. Like the flavour could could maybe be doing with a tad stronger, but in a way though, you always know the flavour is there, but it's definitely weakening than what I thought it was going to be. But if that's kind of to balance off what the, I guess, sugar is kind of balancing off, then the the, the flavour on that is fine. Like it's only, it's only just below medium sweetness, which is still nice, but you drink it and then you kind of just get, you know, you get some bubbles and some fizz in your mouth. And then you kind of just get a literally fizzy bubble burst flavour in your mouth. And it tastes nice. There's like, there's no weird flavours or weird chemical, chemical taste or anything like that throughout the whole drink. And in terms of it being super sour or a sour's range, shall I say, it's, I wouldn't say it's sour, to be honest. I'd say it's just, it just tastes of bubble, bub bubbles, bubble burst, bubble gum, whatever you want to call it. Um... Some people probably may prefer more, a bit more soury. I think the old one was more on the sour side because it had more sugar and they could really kind of ramp it up. But this, like I said, this is the same as like it's a normal fizzy bubble burst drink. You know, you wouldn't know it's sours, you wouldn't know it's energy, you wouldn't know it's rock star. So at the end of the day, you could easily trick someone with this and see it is. But so yeah, the drink's nice. Guess uh, you know, it's flavour's good right in the medium and again there's no weird flavors and again for the aftertaste there's no weird aftertaste either a little bit of bubble for the aftertaste as well a little bit of bubble burst flavor drink it yep get that good bubble burst flavor and it just kind of dissipates in your mouth after with no weird chemical taste brilliant but as far as the it is a really weird it is a really weird thing for them to come out with 25 percent more taste that's a really really weird uh marketing idea to come up with like 25 percent more caffeine yeah great but but specifically 25 percent more taste that's that's really hard to figure and get your head around it now i said there was also another I said other 25 percent range like i said there'll be in the description but if they are really trying to compare this to what the original was they're totally different drinks and 25 percent more taste is purely based on opinion rather than actually being 25% more tasty. And so it's just a weird thing. You think they're all sitting around their table and they think, okay, guys, what are we going to come with? 25% more taste drinks. Like, okay, I don't know. I just find it a really weird figure to come out with. Again, whether it's purely a smart idea to get people to buy it, um, I mean, it is a brave move on their part, but specifically 25, it's just really weird. I don't want to ramble on about it, but yeah, it's just, I've really not seen anything advertised like this on any, any other brand of energy drink saying that it's a specific percent more value in taste compared to an old flavour, which was out many years ago, which had a million times more grams of sugar. So yeah, a bit confusing there, but regardless, that's nice. 
bubble burst drink with no swag store or anything like that great flavor gets a thumbs up for me so as always guys thank you for watching and i'll see you all later